Welcome to the online TV session of African News Switzerland, your foremost um, TV coverage program and news journalism. Today we are here at the arrival launch of the Zurich International Airport, expecting the arrival of the Nigerian national team, that is um, the Green Eagles of Nigeria. They will be holding a match against the Swiss counterparts on Tuesday at the Lex Ground um, Nash, um, Netflix Ground Stadium here in the heart of Zurich, Switzerland. Behind me is the, um, the arrival ports where the players are expected to highlight anytime from now with um, the much talked about super coach. We are talking of nobody else but um, Betty Vogts of Germany. Um, yesterday, the Nigerian national team lost to the Australian national team by a lone goal. Um, how do you intend to handle this situation? Uh, the situation was only a test match, you know, we miss a lot of players and they must try uh, about some players and have a look at him and uh, it was a good test match. A uh, fair result was uh, maybe a draw, it was very unlucky. We make one mistake in the, in the midfield and we put no pressure on the midfielder from our opponent and that was the problem. But we have a lot of tension and we must score. That was the other problem. Okay. Um, from analysis, we discovered that this will happen to be your last friendly match before the Nations Cup in January. Will the outcome of this um, match determine a lot your selection for the final selection in the team? Yes, you know why we we playing here and the other test match, but it's not our last match. You know we play Egypt and also Sudan in January, and after that, then we start the final preparation. So we discovered that um, the Nigerian group, the group is stuck the group of death because it has Ivory Coast and Mali, and these are very very strong team in the African setting today. How do you think your team can scale through the Nigerian team? Yeah, we know uh, the group, you know, also the Ivory Coast lost yesterday against Angola, won nothing. And I know the coach very well. Uh, I know a lot of quality players in the team from the Ivory Coast, also from Mali. Uh, it's a good group, you know, it's not a, a group of theirs, no, no. But we, we can move into the next round, it's, it's possible, no problem. Okay, so on the last notes, uh, um, having been a Nigerian team coach for some time now, and um, looking at the African, um, the World Cup coming to um, Africa in 2010, how do you think this will fare well for the African continent? Uh, I think it's a big, big booster for Africa. It gives also all the African nations a big booster for the World Cup 2010. But uh, the, some nations have to organize that better. You know, and the European are looking uh, till to 2010, but the African have to, to do something, you know, and then also CAF have to do something for the nation. And I don't know about the qualifier, you know, it's only five teams qualified for the World Cup 2010. But first, we have to play the Africa Cup of Nations. Okay, so, 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 so summarily, summarily um, being the Nigerian coach and um, having been there for some months now, what do you feel about the Nigerian team? Yeah, we have a strong team. We have uh, a lot of uh, high-class players. You know, also we have a lot of young players, and uh, we must organize it a little bit better in the defense. Then we're on the way to a top-class team. Thank you so much, sir. That has um, been the arrival of the Nigerian national team to Zurich, Switzerland. We have heard from the head coach um, in person of Betty Vox, and they will be holding together. They will be playing the Swiss national team on Tuesday, and then um, we expect they are going to play a great match. We have seen some of the key players, um, like Dele Taiwo, and um, some other players, but we still expect the arrival of some key players whom we understand might be coming in at some. Um, a later date, maybe tomorrow, thereabouts. Um, this has been your anchorman for today. My name is Abdul Salam Shehu, reporting for African News Switzerland.